What's up, y'all? This is Angela. And this is Daria. And this is Where Are My Keys. Hey. Welcome back. Where they at, John? <laughs> I love it every single time. <laughs> Listen, welcome back to our listeners, to our viewers. If you are tuning in for the first time, we want to say welcome. Make sure you come back. Hi, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. Um, but if you are back, thank you for coming back. Um, continue to like us. Continue to subscribe, share, comment. Again, we love to read them. Mm-hmm. Um, and we look forward to those. So yeah, thank sure. you. Oh, and uh, by the way, you can follow us on where underscore or underscore my underscore keys on all of our social medias. Mm-hmm. You can follow Angie at the smaller rooms and me at I am Daria yes. on IG. We're both on IG. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> we're we're coming with another uh, viewer listener suggestion. Uh, suggestion. For our topic today. Yeah, because we talk about our kiddos a bit. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> I think a large chunk of our yeah, life. Uh yeah, hello. Yeah. So um and I think we talked about talking about it in another episode. Yeah. And I think she chimed in yeah. and was like, Yeah, you guys should talk about. So mm-hmm. I'll let you ex- introduce so, it. Today we're gonna talk about the keys to parenting. Ooh, now, yeah. <laughs> now this isn't really the keys. This is more like um the twist tie. How to survive <laughs> being a parent. Listen, because the, the what, what is a Kiki, not Kiki Shepherd, Kiki uh, Palmer say, the gag is, there is no key <laughs> <laughs> to parenting, okay? We are all flying by the seat of our pants. Oh, it's the truth. <laughs> it is so true. Yeah. But being a parent is a delight. It is a joy, mm-hmm. you know, um, because everybody is not able yeah, who true. wants and to, and, to, and desires. Uh-huh. So, you know, we're not, we're just being, you know, silly. silly. Yeah. But, um, I'm going to say being a mom came quite effortlessly to me. <laughs> <laughs> The actual too. act of yeah yeah there were no no difficulties it happened like <laughs> and it was like hello <laughs> I'm home today right somebody <laughs> made my goofy self in charge of the actual human yeah and it is it's amazing it it's I think it's amazing too to see them growing up you know from yeah. baby to yeah. Teenager to you know where they are now, like yeah. Angie has like adult adult sons. So and, my my kiddos are twenty two, twenty, and eighteen, mm-hmm. and mine are ten, eleven, whew, thirteen, fourteen, and twenty. Ooh. See, that's what happens when you have a lot of them. Ooh, child. <laughs> yeah, and I got um, let's see, one just turned twenty in January, and then yeah, I guess everybody's birthday is this year because it's a new year. So oh, yeah, they'll be another year older this year. Mm-hmm. Um. I have four girls and a boy. Boy's the baby. Man. Yeah. If so, it was another girl, would you have tried again? Probably not. I think we had decided that the fifth one was our final final, <laughs> final answer. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, and, and people ask us that all the time, like or say, like you kept going till you got that boy. No, the I always tell people we were just being fruitful and multiplying, <laughs> as the good Bible says. Um, and it just so happened that he was the last Mohican. I will. I will say this. Mm-hmm. Okay, so my last one, the epidural didn't take. Mm. And it was ultra painful. I don't know how you natural People birth natural. folks, <laughs> y'all are superhuman. Like that, um, who just gave birth? Famous. Uh, I follow a lot through the shade room. That's how I know these people. Uh, Summer Walker. Oh, yeah, had Erica had, Badu. And yes, a doula and had <laughs> twins. I said Madula. <laughs> <laughs> a Madula on Legata. <laughs> I'm Legata. Um, but yeah, had twins, girl, naturally. I ain't gonna be able I, mm-hmm. no. So pop, mm-hmm. listen to my sisters who out there natural yeah. birth. We see y'all. Yeah. But couldn't be us. <laughs> <Can't> be <you. laughs> listen, we but see, um, can't be you. yeah. So she had twins. So you struggled, struggled through your leg. <laughs> Girl, I was like, this is it. Well, we had already had the discussion. If this is another boy, that's it. Okay. We ended up with a dog, with me. <laughs> so that was our girl. Okay. Um. Yeah, but I really enjoy having all boys. It is really. A ride. <laughs> That's how I can describe it. Because boys do the goofiest stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember one time they were hanging. I, I can't remember which one it was. But they were hanging from, like, the bathroom ride. The, the towel ride. Uh-huh. And broke it. And then when I came in there to hear what the commotion was. Uh-huh. Like, they wasn't wearing clothes from the pants. The waist down. <laughs> what? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> and then another time, one of the kiddos brought, like, their lunch bag home. Mm-hmm. It wasn't nothing in it but, like, a cup and dirt. What? Exactly. <laughs> what? How old do you remember? He had been about six or seven but at the time. There's dirt in your lunch bag. Right. What are you what are you doing? Girl, me and my sister was swing not swing. We were hanging from we probably were swinging too. It was what do you call the little thing over the doors? 
Like it was just <laughs> enough something where we could put our finger on her or something. <laughs> Oh my, someone. oh my god, like I can't wait to she yeah, she remembers it better than I did. But just swinging on on something Anything. that shouldn't have been, yeah, just bad girl. And hence, you know, <laughs> that's what you have to deal with with these kiddos being a challenge. I wouldn't yes. say I don't, I don't want to say bad, but yes. challenging. <laughs> yeah, and then you have to kind of use what you have mm-hmm. and try to do better with it. Yeah. So with boys, because I'm the only child, mm-hmm. I have to try to maneuver rearing multiple children okay because <laughs> you don't really have experience in that department. exactly yeah. so typically when they're up when they were upstairs playing mm-hmm. and one they you hear them tussling <laughs> you hear the fight about to go down uh-huh. you wait till somebody start crying uh-huh. everybody get a whooping mm-hmm. everybody going to bed <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my favorite part is saying like what y'all doing nothing <laughs> at the same exact time <laughs> And, and, and I know when you say you're doing nothing, you're definitely doing something. Girl, what about when they super quiet? Oh, then you got to go check on them because you don't know <laughs> what is going on. And you come in there, they done wrote on the wall. <laughs> somebody done cut somebody's hair. Shh, don't. If you, or if somebody hurt, so they like, shh, don't cry. Because mama going to hurt us. And if mama hurt or dad, you know, they going to come in and, and get us. So Okay, so are you first here disciplinarian? Am I saying it again? Are you like the first here? This like you the first line of defense when it comes to discipline. And if probably, if okay. yeah, yeah, because you know I do always be like I'm gonna tell your daddy. Like <laughs> <laughs> after I've done all that I can do, um, or if they didn't got you know I'm very very patient. So like three five four hundred times I can tell my kids like sit down, don't do this, don't do that, and you know I'm very patient. And then it's at the five hundred time that I've had enough, so it's just like. That's Everybody getting it. it, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so, but if it's something like, yeah, over and over again, then I'm definitely like, I'm telling you, daddy, because I, I can't. I've, I've had enough. Yeah, I've done enough, and I've disciplined or did whatever, and you like, clearly not listening to me. You're being disrespectful, like I always tell them, like, y'all being disrespectful, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I got, I got the patience of, who do they call it? The patience of a net? What is the patience of something? Joke. Whatever they're saying. Is it a joke? Yeah, too. But anyway, yeah, I just, it takes a lot for them to really like get me to the point. And that's mm-hmm. probably the problem because I should have started at the first. Okay, y'all sit down. Da 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 da. Okay, the we, second we time, you know what not, I mean? We definitely did not play that. <laughs> so at one I point just in time. Can't help it. Just, I'm too old. <laughs> yeah, Joe's gonna be raising his cell. <laughs> basically is hey joe you got is your he resourceful person. um no he's not a little bit but it, it he does require a lot of reminding but he's only 10 oh, you know yeah, what i mean true. so he that's require true. he requires a lot of reminding um and so like now like you so the, uh, to me a, a, a skill set or a key to like parenting is learning your kids yeah so like i learned that i can't tell him one thing and expect for him to do it. Like it just kind of, if he gets distracted or goes downstairs as a kid, like he don't do it. Joe, did you do such and such? No. So now I feel like I have to give him tasks. Uh You know, I can't just, you know, whatever. So I'll tell him, okay, Joe, I need for you to do A, B, C. And then I'll be like, now what did I ask you to do? And he'd be like, you said, do this, do this, do this. So then he goes to do that and I'm like, come back. Joe, did you do? Yes. And he's successful. So like just kind of like throwing it. Okay, I need to clean up your room. Put your stuff in the, sh- in the dryer. Do this. Do that. It's too much. Mm-hmm. And I mean, he's ten, you yeah. know. Um, but I, I do expect a lot. I think from my kids because of the maturity that they have. Yeah. Um, but I have to come back and remember, like, hey, they just kids. Your sister's coming for them a lot. No, they don't do <laughs> that kind of like each other. No. I mean, I, they are funny though because I feel like they do. I love when they take up for each other. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, even like when I'm saying stuff, they be like, "Well, she was just trying to." I don't care. You know what I mean? But they try to like take up for each other. That's um, sweet. As well as they do, um, you know, give each other a lot of flat talk. So sometimes they are arguing amongst each other, and uh-huh. one of them will be like, "Leave Joe alone," or "Don't be messing." You know what I mean? So I love that, and I try to continue to uh, instill in them like y'all are all y'all got. Yeah. And if y'all, you know, ain't cohesive or together, you know, and somebody is messing with your sibling, or you know what I mean, like yeah. I just need y'all to be there for each other because mm-hmm. I totally know, that's agree. All y'all got so. But it's so funny because the okay, so the oldest and the youngest used mm-hmm. to be you couldn't get water between them; they was like super tight. <laughs> uh-huh. But once the oldest started doing his own thing, the the youngest and the middle started getting real tight. Mm-hmm. So when we dropped off that middle boy. Mm-hmm. It's, to college, yes, uh-huh. girl. We, you know, hustling and bustling. Mm-hmm. You know how it is. Yeah. You know, okay, <laughs> girl. I came back. Khalil's shirt was like ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what did that happen? Right. 
white. He was white. Me and Nate got into a fight. <laughs> that quick? It was white. <laughs> While you were gone. Yes. Girl. That was gone like no time. Like a fight went down. But then he left the evidence because he wanted you to ask like, well, what happened? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, well, good job. Like, y'all resolved it. You got it out your system. Yeah. So, so you got to let them fight it out. Is that what you're saying? Sometimes, okay. So, I say that the house is set up, the structure, our nucleus is set up kind of like uh, Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. I'm, of course, Dorothy. Mika is who she is. Uh-huh. Khalil is the is the courage. Okay. Like, can nobody outside the family talk about the family, uh-huh. but the family. Okay. All right. It's going down. Yeah. He protects us. Mm-hmm. All that stuff. Nate is the super feeler. He is super sensitive. Mm-hmm. He's super sweet mm-hmm. and just just feels everything. <laughs> and then Brandon is the brains. Mm-hmm. And so he's super industrious, super resourceful. If nigga please was a person, <laughs> <laughs> I really just don't care about what people think about him. Uh-huh. And I, I really appreciate that about him because it's really allowed him <laughs> to, to forge forth with his with his goals. Yeah. And like I said, he's very resourceful. Yeah. If he don't know how to figure it out, he, he will figure it Love out. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Man, I think I would venture to say, and I think I've said this before, that we are doing a great job. Agree. <laughs> with Agree, raising, girl. With raising these humans. Because yes. again, there is no playbook. I say that uh-huh. all the time. There is no, you know, people can have some books. Oh, parents and how to do this but Mm-mm, you don't you, know yeah you learn as you go yeah you learn yes. as your kids grow you know what i mean mm-hmm. um again I, I talked about this as being like in your 20s and yeah. you know and then when you get to your 40s you can't take your 20 year old mindset to your 40s but the same right. thing with your kids you can't treat them how they were when they were two mm-hmm. how they are when they're 12 like there's a big difference Correct. you know they are Growing into themselves, learning themselves as well, and they're ultra different. Like, so all of them will come out the same. Body. Yes. Like, <laughs> yes, everybody has a different personality. Yes. So you again have to learn their personality. Uh-huh. You know, it's very important. Yeah, um, to do so. Uh-huh. But, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, I I just you know I've learned that all of them are different, so you can't discipline. And I think t- to be honest, I feel like our kids help us. Uh-huh. Um, because my middle baby, so Jace, she's the one who's 13. And uh, I remember her having a conversation to me one day about, um, she was talking about her and her grandmother had, you know, got into a little, you know, yeah, her kerfuffle. <laughs> um, and um, I remember talking to her about it afterwards and just kind of, you know, trying to figure out like, well, what uh-huh. is going on? And, you know, this, this and that. And she was like, well, you know, one of the things that she says all the time is why can't you be like, such and such, Ooh. your other sister. She was like, but I'm not her. And I was just wow. like, you know what? Good you're... for her for African Yeah. Person. And I was like, you're right. You are not. So that's when it dawned on me, like, dang, I cannot kind of, uh, or I can't parent her. Like I parent JL, which is her right. second, my second oldest. Right. And the one who's in the house right now, because Jalea is out. Uh-huh. Um, you know, because they are two different people. You know, so uh-huh. whereas JL, I might can be able to tell her something and she does it without questions asked. Whereas Jace, you tell her to do something, and it's mm-hmm. like, well, why? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> and I, so. yes, exactly. And I know I don't. I believe in my heart that she's not being disrespectful. Mm-hmm. She just wants to be. She logical. wants to know. Yeah, and like it's, Yeah, so I, I realize that about her. So I kind of try to walk that, you know, line with her. And that's or whatever. definitely now, not something that we grew up I, with. I do be. I will give you because I said so. Because sometimes it's just because I said so. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But other times I'd be like, okay. Let me, you know. Mm-hmm. But yes, you're right. It was like, <laughs> like my mama, because I said so. Right, yeah, you do what it was. Yeah. yeah. But I say this all the time. This generation of kids are very different, maybe because of social media, maybe mm-hmm. because of, you know, whatever. Um, just think that your life is different. Uh, the world is different now than when we were. But grew you know up. what? Just sitting here now, mm-hmm. kind of, I kind of appreciate that about mm-hmm. your daughter because mm-hmm. how many times as adults, do we just do something because that's the way my grandmama did it? Yeah. That's the way my mama uh-huh, did it. Uh-huh. When there's probably a better way that it can be Correct. done because yeah. we don't really understand yeah. the why. Yeah. And that goes back to like to our parents, how we say give them a little bit of grace because yes. they did the best they did with what they had. Yeah. So same thing for us, like, you know, prayerfully, our kids will give us grace because we are navigating the same way. We're doing the best that we can, yeah. you know, with what we have. Uh-huh. But we've learned as parents that Sometimes we can't do what mom and grandma told us because that ain't right. That was for them in their time period. But yes. for us, our kids, this time, yes. this moment, this 
uh, century, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like things are different and yeah. we have to parent differently, Absolutely. you know? Um, and I ain't saying let, you know, people talk about now, have you heard about this gentle parenting? <laughs> it, go on girl it's just about like and not tapping your kids and not discipline or you know just disciplining them in a softer gentler you know manner and Amazing. absolutely not <laughs> we, okay so i do believe in spanking your children and me let's, too let's, that's let's, why i said yes yeah, so because they don't get a little tap yeah it's necessary but here's the thing we're gonna show <laughs> compassion mm -hmm. and our intent is to prepare them for the real world. Mm -hmm. When they go out into the world as adults, mm -hmm. there there's not going to be any compassion. Mm -hmm. There's not going to be any um, intent but to hurt them, to break them, to make them comply. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we do it out of love mm -hmm. and preparation mm -hmm. to be a, a upright citizen mm -hmm. where the world the world is evil. Yeah, they don't cut you, know? you up and uh, spit you, chew you up and spit you out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so we got to prepare them for that. Um, you know, and I mean, and I somebody kind of, it was uh, a topic on social media at one point. Some celebrity or someone was talking about gentle parenting, mm -hmm. and what my thought process was: everybody or every kid can't be gentle parented no you know what i mean so you mm -hmm. have to learn your kid learn which child can be because mm -hmm. to, to be honest my kiddos i feel like they are good kids i am praying to god that they continue on this journey yes. of being you know amazing citizens mm -hmm. of this world um and so we didn't have to tap them a lot you right. know what i mean but we definitely would if there was something that they did that was out of pocket I'm and sure still they did, observed you know? too yeah that's a, i yeah. feel like that's how my youngest was <laughs> yeah. like hmm. if i do this <laughs> There's going to be some consequences <laughs> and repercussions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I totally think that they, that they observe and they pick mm -hmm, up. Mm -hmm. But I think it's really important, and I've had this discussion with my mom before, that you continue to talk to your kids. Mm -hmm. Like You continue to keep that dialogue mm -hmm, open mm -hmm. of what you expect of them as adults, mm -hmm. what the world expects of them as adults, mm -hmm. and what they want to accomplish as adults. Yeah. So that man, listen, again, <laughs> when I was driving the, the youngest off at college, mm -hmm. I'll tell the story all the time because they make me so proud. Mm -hmm. But I was crying in my tortilla soup because it's one thing. <laughs> my favorite saying that yes. you say, but you were definitely crying. I was crying in my For tortilla real. soup because it's one thing to speak life into your children, but mm -hmm. for them to take a hold of it mm -hmm. by the reins mm -hmm. and just make their dreams happen. Mm -hmm. Girl, because it can go left at any point yeah, in time. Yeah. It's so many different variables and adversaries mm -hmm. out in the world mm -hmm. that mean to break your kids down yeah, to, yeah. you know. And, Especially these days. And black boys. Yeah. You know, yeah. and for me to have three, they've never been in any real trouble. Mm -hmm. Like, they they done some little stuff, uh -huh, you know. Uh -huh. We and all they, have, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they have really showed up in life yeah. for themselves. Yes. You know? Toot your horn, mom. I tell, tell. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I was, um, there was something that I had, had shared uh, to my daughter because somebody shared it on social media um, and it said something to the effect of uh, my mama, you know, something about I realize now that my mama was right but I just didn't like the way she said it and I said yeah. it to my daughter. She gonna tell me something, mm -mm, you still not <laughs> But it's funny that that, you know, I brought that uh, meme or whatever that was up because I wanted to, you know, encourage you parents that your children, mm -hmm. although it may not seem like it in the moment or right now, like they are listening to you. Um, they are hearing what you're saying Say that. so that, you know, don't feel like, oh, it's just a wash. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, even if it's not now while they're a teenager, like maybe when they turn 30 or 40, they're going to come back and be like, mom, dad, you I know. I never you see yeah. yeah, and you were so right, and I can apply it to this situation, you know. Mm -hmm. So like you said, just continue to pour into your children, yeah. even if you feel like you're talking to a brick wall. Yep, Cause I, I had that talk with my mom too, because <laughs> one day I was just fed up, uh -huh. and I was just like, no, listen to me. <laughs> and my mom was like, Chill. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Chill. Oh. But yeah, they won't unhear it. Yeah. They cannot unhear yeah. it. Yeah. As long as you you keep talking, I don't know. How, I don't care how frustrated you get. I don't care what it looks like right now. Mm -hmm. They can't unhear it. Mm -hmm. Even so if true. they come back to you saying, <laughs> "Well, you know what? My teacher said exactly the same thing you said." <laughs> right. Ago. 
right. you know what I'm saying? Right, right. You and sometimes think. it takes that, and that's okay. Don't take anything away from you. But again, like that meme said, it was the way that you said it. Mm, it was your approach. Make it go, go off. Yeah. Uh-huh. No. Well, I mean, like as a parent, so like I'm saying all these things, but maybe I'm yelling as I'm saying it, or maybe you know what I mean. Uh-huh. But then the same person comes back and said it, and they're a little bit calmer. Yeah. And they're gentler in their approach, so they can receive, so it. They can receive it. Yeah. Mm. So you kind of got to watch, you know, how you're talking or saying those things that you want them to listen to, like mm-hmm. make sure that you're doing it in a way that they can receive it. I'll tell you something that I'm having a hard time with <laughs> at, with my kids as uh-huh, an adult, uh-huh. apologizing. You apologizing to them? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing it. Like, because you do understand or know that you did or said something? Yeah. Wrong? Okay. Yeah. But you have a hard time, like in your spirit, be like, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think people in general have mm-hmm. a problem apologizing mm-hmm. because for real, you meant what you said. Yeah. You said what you yeah. said. Yeah, yeah. But it's very important that you own up to... Absolutely. And that you're not above an apology. Absolutely. So that they know that they're not either. Yeah. And I actually apologize to my kids sometimes too because I might be fussing at one and I just know it was you. You know what I mean? And then something happened, it'll come back. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. And he's like, it's all right, mom. <laughs> but at least I did, you know, because most of the times parents just want to be shown to be that they're right. Yeah. But you ain't right if you're wrong. So right. apologize. Right. It's okay. Right. You know, and then that way your child isn't looking at you like, mom, I know she was wrong. And then, you know what I mean? Right. Just going to try to buy me some McDonald's <laughs> and feel like, you know, that's the apology. Some ice cream. Yeah, that's the apology. But, um, you want to get some ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> You want to you as an yes. You know what though? Speaking of ice cream, so one thing I did one time, and it dawned on me like this is probably not the right thing to do. So my um, or just maybe in general, like my mom used to do this with my kids too. So like if they were upset or crying and something happened, my mom used to be like, "What's wrong?" Or "Let me give you a dollar," you know, whatever. So like she would give them a dollar, whatever. So, all right, so that soothes you, right? Like oh. Thank you. I can go buy some candy, right? Uh-huh. So one time, my son, I feel like he lost his basketball game. And of course, I'm talking to him like, you win some, you lose some. Uh-huh. Da, 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 da. Let's go get some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to guys, you went and got some. But as I was doing, I was just like, I don't want him to feel like or associate, man, if I'm feeling down, let me go get some ice cream or let me go get some food or let me go get some. You know what I mean? Because... I'm an emotional eater myself. Like, uh-huh. so if something is going on in my life, I'm, I'm looking for the sweets, you know? Guilty. So I just thought about that. Like, man, I don't want to set him up yeah. for that as he gets older That's to good. feel like I need something to make me feel good when, uh-huh. you know, no, they're going to be, we're going to have some wins and some losses and we yeah. got to figure out how to come back from those losses and make it a lesson. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't want to just be sugarcoating it with, here you go. Here's something to make you feel better yeah, versus letting them, yeah, yeah. letting them uh, process yeah. What they're feeling, that situation, that emotion, that loss, and how we can, you know, learn from it. Sometimes what I would do with my kids, I ask them, well, what could you have done better? Mm, do you think, was good. there anything that you could yeah, have done better? Yeah. So that, that has worked pretty well. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of times when you have kids to, I don't know a better way to say this, but to pay for their own mistakes. Uh-huh. You, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so all three of my kids require braces, right? Okay. One of my sons threw away not one but two retainers. Oh. So I was like, okay, you got the first retainer. Mm-hmm. You paying for the second one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you lose that, you just gonna, your teeth gonna do what they do. <laughs> Unless you give me some money. <laughs> yeah, because it ain't cheap and money don't mm-hmm. grow on trees and my time is money. Yeah. So when you become an adult, mm-hmm. when you go to a job, mm-hmm. they buy your time. Yeah. So when I'm just giving you twenty dollars, right. that's a time to, to earn. Right. So yeah. no, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a life lesson right there. It is. Because like you said, kids tend to think that money grows on trees or that, ooh, my mama rich. Because no, you no, know what I mean. No, you know, I'm rich. You're poor. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Shaq, I just read something Shaq said the same thing. He told his kids. Listen, I'm rich. <laughs> you not. Said it too. <laughs> but that's good because just because you are well off doesn't mean like you got to make your kids understand the value of a dollar mm-hmm. what it means mm-hmm. to work you mm-hmm. know or they're going to grow up and and become a uh, privilege yeah so, like there's a privilege like i have yeah. to get this and somebody I has to do this not. for me yeah and one thing that i appreciate about my kids they don't care i mean they understand value mm-hmm. so they understand that um name brands and mm-hmm. designer labels mm-hmm. aren't the don't equate to mm-hmm. value and quality mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they they go thrifting, and mm-hmm. if they find something of, of value, yeah. then they know to acquire it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They understand about the value of stocks and being um, an owner versus a consumer. Mm-hmm. They understand things like that. Mm-hmm. So I'm just I'm just really proud of them for understanding that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. Listen, parenting is not an easy feat. <laughs> it is not. Yeah. And I'm not going to talk about like the emotional mm-hmm. piece that it takes it takes a toll on mm-hmm. both parties. Yeah. So when you are doubting yourself about how you parent or how you yeah. handle a situation, yeah. you really have to, I don't know. I, yeah. don't, I don't know how you. I think you have to um, trust yourself mm-hmm. and trust that, um, again, you were entrusted with these individuals, mm-hmm. you know, so you have to trust that you are making the right decisions for them, mm-hmm. you know, so everything that you do um you know, you have to be mindful of that and be mindful of, even if I do something where I feel like it's me and I'm doing it, it may affect your kids. So you have mm-hmm. to be conscious of that because while you may get a consequence, your kids may have one too. Mm-hmm. So you have to make sure that you're moving um, in a way that protects your kids and keeps them safe yes. as well. Yes. So I think if you feel like you're doing all of those things, I mean, I feel like you it'll can, be okay. Yeah, it'll be okay. And then knowing that, you can there can be some improvement yeah in you as an individual and as a mom or mm-hmm. as a dad as well you know what i mean we yeah. don't have all the answers no we don't have it right all the time mm-hmm. so if somebody can give you you know a, a one up on you know how to handle a situation mm-hmm. or something like that like don't be afraid to ask yeah. and then make sure you are uh open to receive it as that, well that part that, i mean yeah <laughs> You want your kids to receive it, you got to receive it too, right? Yes. But I feel like we just be, you know, we're adults and I'm there. You know, and yes, you run your own household, you make your own money, you know, so don't tell you how to spend it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, somebody can give you a good, you know, good uh, yeah. advice if you listen. There was this one country song and the lyric went, you don't know if you got it right until they gone. Mm. I was like, ugh. Was they? <laughs> they was talking about a love issue though, wasn't they? No, they were talking about kids. kids. You yeah. don't know if you raise them oh. right until they're gone. Out the house? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. true. Because then they have to be adults. Like, yeah. you have to make sure that you've, yeah. You give them what they need to be successful. Give them what they need to be successful. I like to co-sign. It's a pressure. <laughs> it is. It is. And especially when you have more than one, mm-hmm. you know, because you got to do it three times. Yeah. I got to do it five times. Yeah. And you didn't do this for <laughs> when, when, what's the Right. Like, I, I, I've heard I that, that too. Yeah. Oh, my, my God. My oldest, she be killing me because she is funny. She's like, oh, so she gets to so-and-so. <laughs> I didn't get to. You know, but she, I mean, you was our first one. We were, you know, probably you a little bit there, kid. way overprotective. <laughs> you know, I'm still overprotective, y'all. I'll be, you know, the same. I hear uh, parents about like, you know, worrying and anxiety. And let me tell y'all something. It don't stop like mm. once they are adults mm. because I see a lot of elderly patients in my work and they talk about like they're anxious because my son has got this going on and my daughter's getting divorced and you know what I mean? So the worrying like seemingly doesn't end Yeah. Um, because you're, I mean, to me, if you're a good mommy, yeah, you know. Yeah. And my mom, she kind of gave me a, a verbal spanking. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because you're passed out in a... <laughs> yeah, it was. It okay. totally was, but it's about other stuff too, but okay. not to that degree. Not yeah. nowhere near to that degree. Yeah. Usually we kiki woo all the time. Yeah. Like, but yeah. And let me tell y'all something. Appreciate your parents, mm-hmm. your mother, your father, or maybe you have somebody, you know, instead of them, you know, aunts or uncles, like maybe, you know, you weren't raised, but whoever that figure is, like, appreciate them while they're here. They're not just talking out the side of their neck. Yeah. You know, yeah, true, um, true. once they're gone, you know, you're going to miss those things. So mm-hmm. just make sure that you're getting all that you can um, from them while they're here. So if they, if your mama want to tell you how to parent your kids, listen and take what you want from it. Yeah. <laughs> Leave the other stuff over there. Um, yeah. But don't, you know, listen to your parents. Yeah. That, that would be my advice too. Yeah. Because they, they raised you. They do you. have value. They do have value. And if they did a good job, then, okay. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, I, agree. I don't know. Did we? Did we? Did we do good here? Did we give them some good keys. So be patient <laughs> with yourself. Be patient with your kids. Pour into them. Keep speak the communication. Speak positive. Yeah. Speak life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so, then watch the fruits of your labor as they grow up, and make sure they come back and take care of you. My son already told me everything that he's gonna buy me when he get old enough to buy it, and I'm not gonna be in a nursing home. I'm gonna be in his house and everything. So I'm ready. I just he said I just gotta watch his kids and cook dinner. Done. <laughs> yep. Deal. Done. <laughs> so, listen. 
We love y'all for watching. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Come back next time. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this first time. <laughs>